Day 25, 10.01 a.m. Most of the housemates are in the bedroom. Noreen and Charlie are in the kitchen. I think Chris would be all right today. What's wrong with him? Um, just say the... I think it's to, to do with... Sophie, yeah, Because he, he really likes that, but he feels a bit like he's always doing the running. So yesterday he thought, I'll take a step back and see if she comes to me, and she didn't. Because I said, that's what I'll do. You know, like, if you think, if you think you heard, I think, right, well, I'll take a little bit of a step back and see if they yeah. come. And then, obviously, when she has it, it's made him think that she's even later. She's a lot younger, though. She's probably not really she's that like, kind of... Two relationships. Yeah, so. exactly. She's not used to doing those type of things and that. stuff like that. Like, so he has to understand that as well. Exactly. in kitchens uh, I was like chatting like a school girl and then, uh, and then I was like oh. I thought I'll just go out to her and then I thought now and then she'll come I thought now nah, she'll come in and see if I'm right in there but I literally just sat there all day like okay maybe not <laughs> I could just lap out of it Eleven oh five AM Lisa and Shri are in the bathroom talking about Noreen. Like, you know what? It's just like a silly fight, which is uh, oh, people don't know exactly. Please, I always honest with you. It's only a bit just silly fights in it. We we resolved it yesterday uh, resolved it. The only one thing is she was uh, she's bringing the past. Apart from the everything is fine. Okay then. Just be careful, Alvis. Trust me, I will tell you, Liz, everything. Charlie, Chris, Rodrigo and Carly are in the garden. She didn't know Chapter 33. But honestly... It's annoying now. She's, <laughs> getting, oh. she's annoying me by doing it all. He came into my bed and he was talking about it. I was like, Shri, I've got one thing to say, pal. Change the record. Honestly. That's all she kept saying. <laughs> but he needs to. He, he needs does. to take note. He doesn't listen, that's the thing, he doesn't fucking listen. That's why I stopped giving... Charles gives him advice, though, but I have to switch off. He doesn't listen to anything. I can't anything. give him any more advice, cos he goes in one ear and out the other. He just doesn't fucking listen. Always bitching. And he's like, like yes, is like, it yesterday, Charlie? He's like, the, the re like yesterday or no, the day before yesterday when he came and chatted to you, I had that massive chat with you, uh, he was going, Chris, you don't understand, I've given up a lot to be in here. And I was like, everyone's given up stuff to be in here. And he said, yeah, but I'm president of university and... Um, and I've studied and all this. I was like, everyone here studied. Like, you've all, you've all done. You know, I've all give up stuff to beat. Yeah? He's like, well, I said, Charlie's gone from being like, annoying little brother that you love to just annoying. Twenty-five 
12.41 p.m. Carly is in the diary room talking about half-wit. He gets on my nerves. He does, I've told him that. I was, he, he gets on my nerves. But sometimes when I speak to him, I, I like intelligent conversations. I feel like I'm getting stupid in this house. I like people who can sit and you're having an intelligent conversation with and I'm used to that but then sometimes he opens his mouth and he just lets his belly rumble and talks the biggest load of rubbish ever. Some of the housemates are in the garden. What you've got? Um, having sex with one person, monogamy, having sex with loads and loads and loads of people, promiscuity, and then you've got something kind of in between which is having sex with a few good options. Like, at any point in time, I'd like to have a few good options. And I don't mind them also having options. OK, Freddy, my man, open this apple for me. <laughs> How many lovers do you have mm -hmm. at the moment, if you were outside? Three. Three? Yeah. Are they all girls or boys? All girls. You're not much of a bi, are you? Oh, have God. you actually, like, a guy? Huh? Have you actually... Have I had sex with a guy? Yeah. Yes, I've had sex with quite a few more guys than I've had sex with girls. Oh, OK. Yeah, no, recently, this last year, I've been pretty much just into girls. So how many girls mm -hmm. have you slept with? How many girls have I slept with? Because it sounds like loads. Not that many. The way you put it. No. No, it's about ten. Ten? Yeah. OK, how many guys? Thirty or forty. Thirty? Mm. It's a lot of cock, man. Mm-hmm. Well, no, but yeah, you'd, you'd be surprised, man. Place. Like, in the gay community, oh, gay you can just... It's so easy. Yeah. Like, if you want to score with a guy in the night, you just can. There's there's no art to it. There's no... There's nothing. Do you agree with that, Charlie? Like, what? If you want to tap a guy, if you, you can. tap a guy, easy. I do think, so though, because, like, you know, guys are, like, like, always horny and shit. So if I was gay, I would fucking go out and fuck the whole club. Because, mm. like, there are guys as well... Is it like that? That's what? All. Like, if I was a guy, and you were a guy, and I came up to you in a club, I, I would probably, if I was gay, I would be like, yo, Charlie, do you want to go have sex? And I would say if no. you like me, you would say... That's it. I would just say I'm having fun with me, mate. I'd say he has me numbers, because I'll meet up, meet up with you through the week and go on a date, and if I like, yeah, I'd sleep there, if I didn't, then I didn't. <clears throat> then i have a drink, man. Do you, anyway? <laughs> I would just meet someone and go, oh, yeah, are you come for sex? One seventeen pm Big Brother has gathered all of the housemates at the dining table. One housemate has been called to the diary room. Oh. It's not a shopping task, it's a shoes people. On and a small one, though. For today's task, housemates will take part in an extreme school sports day. If housemates successfully complete all events, they will receive three tokens. The reader of these instructions must take on the role of referee. The remaining ten housemates will be split into two teams of five housemates, each with one team captain. The two teams will then take part in five extreme school sports day events. The events are as follows. Egg and spoon race. Yes. Skipping race. Yes. A sack race. Rolling race. A relay race. Yes. After all events have taken place, the team with the most wins will be declared the winning team. The winning team will be rewarded with a school disco in the sitting room later today. School disco. Wait, wait, wait. This I wouldn't be, I wouldn't be, I wouldn't be so happy until you won because it's going to make it kick off big time. The party will consist of takeaway food, disco music, and booze. In a moment, the referee will have up to one minute to choose the two team captains. The two team captains will then pick their teams uh, when instructed to do so by Big Brother. The referee should make note of the teams on the blackboard no. provided. No. The one minute begins now. No, let's, let's make the teams like, equally strong so everybody yeah, gets yeah, a chance. Yeah, 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 yeah. I've got to pick team got, captains. Pick, pick two team captains. <clears throat> right, who wants to be a team captain? I want to be one. I, I want, want to be, to be one as so. well. You're too late, mate. They asked before you. Yeah. <laughs> Two minutes later, Noreen has picked Charlie, Lisa and Rodrigo. Siavash chose Chris, 
Carly and Halfwit. Would Maureen pick her fourth teammate? Sophie. Oh, fuck. Oh, <laughs> oh fucking hell. Enjoy your party, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Would Siavash pick his fourth teammate? We are happy with just three of us. <laughs> <laughs> is, that, is that Annie Freeway? <laughs> <gasps> so I'm shitting sports, that's what you think? Oh my man, this will be shit, no sport, you fucking... Uh... Just practice! Come on, team! Get this! Come on! Go, 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 go! go. Much, we're gonna win I'll this get my whip out, so I'll be like... Come on, guys! <laughs> 36 pm Some of the housemates are in the bedroom. The rest of the housemates are in the kitchen. Later today, housemates will compete in an extreme sports day. The five events are a skip and race, a sack race, an egg and spoon race, a rolling race and a team relay race. Housemates have been discussing who will take part in each event for the past nine minutes. No, look. I'm not a sports person, but uh, the only sport, it's not anything like intimidating. I'm good in <coughs> skipping yeah, myself. Hey, can you hold on to a bag and jump at it? No, no, he says that he's good at skipping. Skipping? Uh, because on a level, see every you day. Skipping, though, Lars. Yeah, but there's. Come on. There's, 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 okay, trait, between trait, me and Charlie. Trait, 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 trait. But there's skipping on the spot and skipping running forwards. Yeah, it's completely like, different. I'll be skipping like, running forwards. You'll be running, you'll you have to that. run to a certain yeah. thing. Like that. Shree, I think, you know what we talked about last night? Yeah. That you should let other people decide this for you. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. And, like, I don't mind. I don't mind anything. But the sack is something that we will definitely lose. I think we'll pick lose. Charlie for the sack because he'll take big yeah. huge strides. One, two, and that's three. Why and you could the other side. Strategically, do you want to put your weakest person against their strongest person? <laughs> Lisa, rolling, sack race, skipping, skipping, and egg and spoon. Okay. Do you know how to do the egg balance? Spoon? Back, balance. You get a spoon now. Put the top on it. The milk top. Right. This is your. Put a milk top on it. Right. Nice. What do they do? They've well, got plantain. It's going to be an egg. Like this. You can't drop it. The egg. You know the boiled egg? Yeah. And you'll have to start from there. And to race. And don't forget it wobble Practice. and you've got to go. Let me try it. Let me try. Walk fast. Don't run. Walk fast. Like this. Walk slow and steady. But don't say. forget the egg can fall off. You've got to keep it. If I drop it, Because if you drop again. it, it's going to crack and we're fucked. Then I need to start again. No, it might just crack and that's yeah. like yeah. It might, it might just be like a wooden egg. I'll go with you, right? Ready? Steady, go. go. Careful. It, keep it steady, 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 yeah, steady. Careful. Don't be good at that. Don't panic, don't panic. Just keep don't it going. It's an egg. Well done. Yeah. 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 We have our team. Woo! Woo. Go team. Get in. Marcus has been called to the diary room. Marcus, as you know, currently you are not attending the school disco. Okay. Big Brother would like to offer you the chance to attend. Okay. In a moment you'll be asked to write the name of the captain of the team that you think will win the Extreme Sports Day. OK. Marcus, if you correctly predict which team wins the Sports Day, Big Brother will allow you to attend the disco. OK. Do you understand? Yeah. Marcus, please write the name of the captain of the team you predict will win the Sports Day. <laughs> Please show Big Brother what you have written on the card. <laughs> 2 39 pm. Big Brother has gathered all of the housemates in the garden for the extreme sports day task. I just want to say, whichever team wins, I hope that they will have a really good night tonight. And it's, it's you know, we have to, it has to be one team, so it can't be just. <laughs> Both teams, so sorry. This is Big Brother. The first event is the skipping race. Would the referee open the envelope marked skipping race oh, and read the instructions allowed to the group? <laughs> housemates. Team captains will shortly choose one housemate from their team to compete in the skipping race. Situated on both of the straight sections of the track are toy building blocks. The skipping race will consist of five laps of the race tracks. Competitors must skip barefoot. Barefoot? Rules. Competitors, like competitors should begin the race upon the referee's start whistle. Yeah. If competitors do not skip sufficiently around the track, they will be disqualified. Competitors must stay on the track, but do not have to remain within their lane. All non-competing housemates must remain on their benches. How are you going to let Junior? Hold on, hold on. Just trust me on this. Just wait one second. Listen to your heart, Sebastian. 
fuck's sake. Right, I'll do this is Big Brother. Would the competitors for the skipping race remove their pimsoles and socks and take up their starting positions on the racetrack? Go, Sophie! I think she should do it. Go on, let her do whatever. Quick, quick, Nick. Go, go, go. Bad idea. That's a bad idea. That's a really bad idea. Okay, let's do this. He can't escape. Oh, yeah. Fuck, he'll stop. He can't do two things at once. Just tell us behind the line. See you, Vash. See you, I think. I, I thought the car was going to can't do two hands at once. Start on the whistle, yeah? The skipping rope's too small for them as well. Do you think how short that skipping rope is? You have to keep your hands low, lad. Right. Just don't go up. It's ready, set, whistle, yeah? You ready? Ready? Set. Go, Sophie! Go, Sophie! Go, Sophie! Go, I told you we should have got a car oh, 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 You on it? Oh, Anything oh, counting? Oh, 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 Well done, Shree, lads. Well done. They're going to actually check on how many times. I think you're on it. I think you're on it about ten laps. But I think even if he won, he would have got disqualified because he run nearly a whole lap without even skipping. Trust me, Kylie, you're going to cry if it is that. The sofa. You are shy. So they even tell me. You cry before anyone else, mate. I can skip. I can skip. I've never had so much shy in my life. Well done. That's not fucking skipping. That's jumping. <laughs> 2 56 pm housemates have been taken part in the extreme sports day for 17 minutes the second event is the sack race <clears throat> housemates team captains will shortly choose one housemate from their team to compete in the sack race the sack race will consist of, uh, consist of five laps of the track the sacks will contain stinging nettles Okay, now. Jesus, that's All right, rules. Competitors should begin the race on the referee's start whistle. Competitors must remove their plimsolls but should keep their socks on. Nettle cream may only be applied after the race is finished. All non-competing housemates must remain on their benches. I think that you should do it. Do you do it? Go, team. Go! Yes! Come on. <laughs> this is Big Brother. Would the competitors for the sack race remove their pimsoles and take up their starting positions on the racetrack inside their sacks? Oh, Harley. Oh, Harley. Come on. Come on, lads. <clears throat> oh, my word. Right, remember Let's to count. Up. We knew you were going to lose Charlie, so don't get Sit excited. Down, right, listen, remember. Yeah, you've got oh. some benches. Oh. Remember to count your laps, get back. I want to see it. I'm in the oh, five oh, laps. Oh, 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 o
The egg and spoon race will consist of five laps of the racetrack. If at any point in the race a competitor's egg falls from the spoon, the competitor must stop, return their egg to the spoon and carry on from the spot where they dropped their egg. Yeah. Once a competitor has completed five laps, they must de-shell the egg and eat it. The eggs involved are a thousand year old eggs. One thousand year old eggs are preserved no duck's fun. eggs, a oh, Chinese oh delicacy. Oh, oh, that's, that's, that's fine. fine. That's fine. Rules. That's fine. Competitors nice. should begin the race upon the referee's start that's whistle. Fine. Competitors that's must that's eat the entire egg minus Don't the shell. This, Rodrigo, if a competitor fails to eat the that's entire that's egg, they may be disqualified. Yeah. This is Big Brother. Would the competitors for the egg and spoon take up their start nominations on the racetrack? <laughs> competitors must ensure that they're not going to be the same as the other Ready? Set? Go on, Big I'm not complaining about onions again. <laughs> Ten minutes later. The final individual event is the extreme rule. Housemates, competitors will roll across the course of 248 upturned electrical plugs. Competitors must carefully lay on one end of the plug course until the race begins. So we just got to start from the beginning and roll to the end. Yeah, yeah. it's done. Go, oh, look. Go, Lisa! Go, on, Lisa! Go, 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 Lisa! Done! Yeah, we'll see what happens. Well done, Lisa. Well done. Freddy, you did well, man. You did it. You nailed it. So it's five in each team. So it's one in each. Yeah. Well done, Lisa. Well done. Well done. Three twenty p.m. Housemates have been participating in the Extreme Sports Day for 41 minutes. Currently, Team Noreen and Team Siavash have both won two events each. The fifth and final event will decide the winners, who will be rewarded with a school disco later tonight. Housemates, the final event is the relay race. The relay race will consist of 15 laps of the racetrack. All competing housemates will take part. Each competitor will complete three laps of the track. Once they have completed their three laps, they will pass the baton to the next teammate. The baton will be a cactus. Oh! What? Rules. The red competitor should start the line marked one and the blue competitor at the line marked two. Fucking hell, they've tortured us today. Fucking this. So you've got one. Count your own things as well. If, if it's three, so we'll stand in there. This is Big Brother. The race will begin on the referee's whistle. Hold the bottom bit. Are they allowed to 
be sure you definitely count your own laps and everything like that. Because you, if, you, if you balls it up and they're watching... <coughs> he's probably going to beat me because he's a boy. Nice. Right. <laughs> On the whistle, yeah? Yeah. Ready? Set? Go! Oh, no, me. Oh, no, me. Go, 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 You fool! Yeah! I fucking slipped. After five events, the winning team is. Oh! My God. oh. <sighs> Put a bit on there, babe. Put a bit on there. Team Noreen. Yeah! You could be happy for him. Well done, guys. School disco! D-I-S-C-O! Singing D-I-S-C-O! This is Big Brother. Earlier today, Big Brother offered the referee the chance to attend the school disco. If the referee correctly predicted that Team Noreen would be the winning team, he would be permitted to attend. Marcus, please open the envelope marked with a question mark and okay. reveal which team's <laughs> priority would win the sports no, no, game. I think you put us. I think you put us. <clears throat> you put us. <clears throat> I think you did. I think you did. Yes! 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 Wait. Sorry, Jack. I just reasoned that any team with Shireen was going to lose, so... Four eleven p.m. Most of the housemates are in the living room. It's been 41 minutes since Team Noreen won the Extreme Sports Day. What's the matter then, Shree? Come on. Huh? What's the matter? Yeah, I'm fine. <laughs> it's not about losing, don't worry. Rodrigo is in the kitchen. I'm falling to be oh baby. We are the champions, <laughs> my friend. We, 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 we. Me too. Baby, I am so happy. Me too. You all right, Shree? Yeah, I'm fine. What's wrong with you, Shree? Nothing. You're not a sore loser, though. He says he's not, he doesn't care whether he won or lost. No, no, no. Winning or losing is common in every game. Participation is important. Mm, exactly. I'm going to have a cup of tea and a piece of toast to get me done until 9 o'clock tonight. Yeah, I think yeah. I'm going to have some toast as well. I subscribe to that point of view. Can you have a brew? Yeah, no problem. Please. No, I know what, I know what it is. You, you're disappointed because you thought <clears throat> that you were like the bad egg, so to speak. The thing is, I personally team take all the blame for us losing. I slipped and I did choose the wrong people. Looking back, look, if, if we had to do it all again... I would pick Shree for that. I wouldn't have changed Shree's one. Because no. Shree he was no, wouldn't have done the nettles, he wouldn't have eaten, and he wouldn't have done the rolls. There's no right or wrong answer, that's just what happened. That's the only reason we take Shree's taking it hard, because we're all saying, oh, we could have done Shree's, we could have done Shree's. But it was the easiest one. Hmm. It's, it's no one's fault, it's just how it went, mm. 
Oh, no, like, I'm not being nasty, but I'm not happy with how Shree's behaving. Yeah. No, Sorry. he's yeah. just bringing the whole house down. Yeah. Is he upset? What's he upset he's for? He's just being a dick because he didn't win, and that's all it is. Really? And it's like, oh, get over it, mate. You know what I mean? There'll be another task in a couple of days. You'll win that one. He's going to be really upset tonight. I'm hey. so glad. Are you sure? I tried to talk to him, he's like, nope. I don't know why you fucking bother with him. It's just a complete waste of time, and everything you say to him will just make him worse the next time. So not in a nasty way, but your behaviour towards him does affect the rest of the group I just feel sorry well. for him, though. Yeah, but you shouldn't, because he doesn't mm. feel sorry for anyone, and he's, he's already said it last night. He said he, he, he's in here so he can get his name in, uh, on the big screen and in the big lights, and so he'll so always be remembered. Yeah. yeah. That's why he's pissed off now, because oh. it makes him look like a dick. <laughs> <laughs> Four thirty seven PM Halfwit, Chris, Siavash and Charlie are in the garden talking about Shree. He just is a bit like down because he feels that like he couldn't. The thing could've is could've you have better. to come on Charlie. You lose, you lose. Listen, you say my I fucking fucked up. Yeah. And do you know what I mean? I'm man enough to say I slipped, I fucked up with a little bit of help from Charlie. And it's that's <laughs> it. He blames me, he went in front of us. Noreen, Lisa and Shri are in the sitting room. Basically, when the task came today, very first time, you know, when they're writing the names, uh, it's like, very first comment I heard, oh, none of the housemates left, so pick up Shri. That's what she was said there. Yeah. yeah. It means like... I uh, have to be disappointed. Yeah. It means like, personally, me, I have a confidence and people say the, these then kind of things, that, I, I'm yeah. losing my confidence. I thought that. Yeah. That one, that is the very first in instant. And secondly, they ask Marcus, uh, Marcus, uh, uh, if you are the captain of this team, whom you pick up for games? And Marcus said that he's going to be shit anyway for any role. I love your team because only one reason. Since from the very first event, you people are group hugging. Yeah, and th well, that's what we were yeah, saying. We yeah. did have team spirit. Team spirit. Us. But listen, what I'm, I've come in to say to you is, you know, I know all that's happened, but not everybody's good at tasks. What you want to do now is don't let that upset you now. I don't like when I see anyone upset, no? so... No, 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 it's not anything upset. I'm not upset. All of a sudden, finally, Marcus, when he opened the question mark, I was like, when I saw your name, I'm really happy. If he said that, I, I picked Noreen because they know that they're going to win. He said that, maybe you guys heard or not, any team with Shri, they're going to lose anyway. That's why I put Noreen's name inside. Mm. You know what I mean? Why... In the whole 12 people in this house, you need to speak I ain't got to no me. problem with 11 people. Why but have a problem with him? You need to speak to him about it, then tell no. him how you feel. Well, the thing, well, main thing to do now is enjoy you yourself. Saying, I'm yeah. going to go and roll up another fact, but don't, yeah. you know. Come out and enjoy yourself with everybody else. Come on. So, sort it out and then just say, uh, you No, but come out and enjoy yourself, because there's no point sitting here and secluding no. yourself from everybody no, else. Babe. Come on, Sri, we come can on. talk later. Get out. For the... Sorry, uh, no, rain. I left. No, you're fine. Please do not talk to him about this. I'm not going to talk to him about this. I won't. It's up to you. Seven fifty-three p.m. Big Brother has created a school disco in the sitting room and has provided bowls of alcoholic punch and party food. I can't wait. I can't this is Big Brother. The sitting room is now open for Team Maureen and Let's have a look. Good luck, guys. Good luck. Had a good time. See ya. Why am I in front of the queue? Just not believe. Had a good time, yeah? I will say. Oh, good. Oh, God. Oh, food. Oh, God, the food. Sweet. The sweet. Oh, yeah, oh, pizza! Jelly. Yes, sir! Oh, smell of pizza. Oh. What's that, vodka jelly? <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Look at the pizza. <laughs> <laughs> no way. Oh. oh, my God, look. Pizzas, what's Let's that? Let's get amongst it. Oh, oh, my God, look at that cocktail. Oh, oh shit. Oh, they've got donuts. That's a lot of drinks. <sighs> oh, look at... Oh, shit. Oh, they've got donuts and sweets. Oh, oh. oh. <laughs> George Michael! Not my oh, son! This is no. Russian! Oh! Not my fucking son! This is ridiculous! Oh. Mm. I'm gonna have a fucking cigar. I was running for that, if you like. Yep. Yeah. Cool. Alright, oh. Carly, lass. 
want the sweets! <laughs> Before you go, Chris, we need to enjoy, man. Yeah, Seriously, that is so, half of the house is moved off, you know what I mean? Oh, I want the sweeties. I just want a donut. Or a sweet. Cheers. Cheers. The school day. Cheers. 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 At 19 p.m. Team Noreen and Marcus have been at the school disco for 25 minutes. Halfwit and Shri are in the living room. Chris and Carly are in the diary room. Could we get alcohol for this token, please? Yeah, could we? Please, honestly, please. we've been through the wars today. It's no fair on us. I heard that it settles stomachs as well, because mine, after that egg, the doctors I've been to see have said that if you did accidentally eat I a thousand-year-old egg... I heard that rumour too. ..then the best thing for it would be cider and wine. And I heard that if you drink cider and wine, then it helps nettle stings too. Chris. Carly, as you're aware, Big Brother has provided alcohol for the housemates at the party. Parties are for winners. <laughs> <laughs> I hate that. Oh, I got the cop in that room. I didn't. I didn't. I didn't lose. We've got to stick up with these three but, plebs that excited. Oh. <laughs> can you not have? Can we just? Can you lock Please. them three away? Because I've got Sea of Ash dancing, singing. <laughs> then I've got Shree crying about Noreen. fucking Reen. <laughs> And then we've got, oh, oh God. Freddy. Freddy. What did he say oh. today? <laughs> Silvash, you fool! I'll swap oh. the tokens for us in that party room. In fact, I'll give you two tokens for us in that party room. I'd give you them all. No. <laughs> Didn't think so. <laughs> I didn't blame you. Come on, a little bit. If there's nothing wrong. else, you are free to leave the diary room. And I do to your fellow house in the end. <laughs> oh, bloody hell. <laughs> Thank you, housemates. <clears throat> what should we say here? Yeah. Just to give... Oh, we'll create a fuss with Freddie and say they've said if we can get given three all three tokens, we can have alcohol. We'll wind them up and say they've said we'll stick us for the three, two more tokens, and we can have alcohol. <laughs> right, th all three tokens for alcohol. What? No. Yeah, they're lying. No, they're lying. Well, honestly? I know you're lying. Are you no. joking? No, you're seriously Free lying. Why did you say die? Yeah. Come on, well, at least they're doing something for these guys about this, I think. The thing when is we're not, talking about if we say all of our have, have a quick word of him, Freddie. Those guys, well, they won, but yeah. they also put themselves through lots of pain so for those they, tokens. Yeah, well, so did we. They said we want to exchange alcohol for one token. However, Big Brother is willing to exchange alcohol for three tokens. There's no talking, really. We'll just do it. Well, well, it. OK, so no. I thought you might have been bullshitting me. No. But... They will definitely say no, but we still do it. I, it was so quick that it went so oh, quickly. No. All I just remember seeing was Freddie on Freddy, your side. Freddie did come on your side. We had to go with Seabash calling him a fool. Seabash, you fool! Mm. You had a lap on him! Um, <laughs> what do you guys think about the three tokens for alcohol thing? What? Huh? What? Three tokens for alcohol? No, no, no. what? Guys, uh, we're gonna exchange three tokens for alcohol. We don't really care what Frey. you think. Yeah. No! Yeah. Here, here. No. no. No way. No. Hot water. Not man. three tokens. We want water. He's That's been ridiculous. Yeah. Not three like. That's what I thought oh. as well. Yeah, now do it. Do no it. way. Yes. Not three tokens. No, silly. My hair, silly. I think they've already gone in. Fuck's sake. The... No, they're not. What? What is it? Like. Is, is alcohol that important? Like, oh, Bring you. bloody hell. I just don't get... You're <laughs> just winding me up, man. Huh? You're just winding you up. You better be, and don't <laughs> wind me up like that, Seabash, because it brings out precisely the side in me which people don't like. 
<laughs> it's just funny. You just no, but you it's all, not. Oh. Listen, you all knew that you're gonna say. It. Everyone would have said no, but it's just because you didn't know you would. You would only want to say no. Lisa said no as well. You actually thought we're gonna give. I'm gonna give three tokens for alcohol. Yeah, dude. Fuck it, man. Eight thirty-three p.m. Chris, Carly, Shree, and Halfwit are in the kitchen. Ooh. Well, at least we get caramel. You boys got washing up to do before caramel starts, fellas. Mm-hmm. I did fuck loads of washing up this morning. Mate, I'll tell you. Mm-hmm. You got to do the washing up for your food, Jad, tonight. Otherwise, that's the last time we can be here. All right, man. Fine, I can cook it myself. Don't worry, Freddy. Yes? Take it easy. I am taking it easy. We're gonna win tomorrow anyway. Aye. Come on, we are the champions as well. We get bloody caramel. Team Noreen and Marcus are at the school disco. Hi, right, ma'am. Shall we do washing up, you and me? Um, you can if you like. Um, hmm? as I said, I did, did loads of drying earlier. And uh, I've already done a bit of this washing up. Oh, okay, then, don't worry about it. I'll do it. Mm. 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 And besides, we can wait till after 12 and get hot water. If I were you two, free, I'd get it out of the way now so they, d they don't have to come in and see the mess, because I don't want to see a mess there. Uh -huh. I cooked up. It's easier to well, do it. Well, it's only it's three and a half hours, like... It's... Yeah, but why can't you just go and do it now? Get it out of the way, it's done Because it's not hot water and it's... Or the kettle. Oh, don't worry about it. You sit three guys sit mm. together and do it. I mean, I'm just feeling sick just because of all the sugar. I just, I, I, don't, um. I don't really eat a lot of sweets, and that bloody donut really pushed me over the edge. Sorry, like, uh. just, oh. Just oh. lie down for a while. I can't call. <laughs> so, oh, there's no need for, you have none for so long. <laughs> he looks tall in the truck. The fact you don't know get in the factory. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> more like in the room. <clears throat> oh, I can't God. breathe. Oh. Yeah. If I were you, I'd just go and help him. You've had a nice tea cup for you, I'd go and help him out there. Well, yeah, and I generally do. I just felt like I've done a lot recently. I don't feel you have. Well, I have. I don't do it and, like, boast about it loads. I just Who do does? It. Who does, though? You sitting here giving me a speech about it, it's not going to help. Dude, I'm not giving a speech. It was boring, so I thought there was another one of your speeches. Chris, did you have, like, some particular issue with me? No, not a particular one, just loads, just boring me. If you want to go and help out, and I'd go, go and get that done if I were you, that's all I'm saying. Right. I'm saying, well, like... If you you've got any, any loads of small particular issues with me, then no, those are too. No, I just find you annoying, and you annoy me even more by not going Why in and helping Why do you find Shree. me annoying? Because you're not going in and helping Shree. You're sitting okay. out here having a discussion about it, eating ice and getting drunk on water. Uh... Do you want me to go off and go up, go and up Shree out so I'll cook and I'll clean up as well? No, dude, so I'll, I'll, exactly. well, I'll go, go do it, it, but I don't... Like, if you find me annoying, like, what, what is it about me that you, you find You sitting annoying? here asking me what's annoying about you is annoying me enough. <sighs> OK. Yeah, you annoy me when you don't say thank you for the food cooked for you and just say it's nice. Yes, I did. No, mate, it doesn't really matter anyway, I don't really care. But I just, just go and help, just go and help Shree. Well, well, thank you for the food. I. I do mean to be grateful for it. Yeah, you and... just do not... Come on, go on, lad. Go and help him, mate. OK, sure. Like, I'll go keep him company. Cool. Mm. And dry. <sighs> 10.31pm. Halfwit is in the bedroom. Most of the housemates are in the garden. Hard to convince him, bloody hell. Freddy, 
Like, Freddy's oh, just a fucking pain in the fucking arse. That's what Freddy is. He's been, he, just, he just comes in, like, What's isn't it? Like, All of a sudden, like, he's been, like, really, like, being really nice to me, like, hey, Sophie. And then, like, before he leaves the room, like, he tries to give me a hug or something, but it's his hand out. I don't know. I think he knows I'm not his number one fan. Oh, no. He's trying to, like, trying to sweet talk me. I mean, like, even, even, like, more he's been trying to, like, speak to me. But, um, no, he does my head in. He's just, he's just annoying, and he's got more and more annoying. Me and Chris just fucking did him. What did you say to him? Did you do the washing up? What did he say? He came out and Chris said to him, he was sitting down and Chris was like, look, Freddie, me and Carly cooked, go in and do the dishes, we're not asking for much. And he was like, I'll do it at 12 o'clock when we get hot water. And Chris was like, no, why do you not just do it now? Just because by 12 o'clock, maybe they'll want to go in the kitchen, it'll be a mess. Freddie went, oh, dude, something, blah, blah, blah. And Chris went, look, Freddie, you're really annoying me. Just go and clean the dishes. And he went, Chris, if you've got a problem, then just tell me, why am I annoying you? And Chris was like, just a lot of things. You really didn't want me to deal it all out now, just go and clean the kitchen. i never seen him clean, ever. Cleans in breakfast, yeah, but that's not a lot of pots, is it? But it, it's, it's, that wasn't the point. The point was, we cooked for three people, the yeah, three people clean. That's just yeah. what happens. With one exactly. asked not to do anything. No, five people have to share five duties. He's fucking lazy. He's used to like, getting, like, bloody spoon fed, isn't he? Because, like, his fucking parents probably just do everything for him. Trust me, you need to see me. I never touch plate in my whole life to clean, but, however, when I come here, England... Yeah, yeah if you share a house with people, you have to clean up after yourself. I was going to go for a piss. Is there any toilet water on that? Blue. Thanks. Can I just get past you? Please. Really? I need to wait. Sophie, do you fart? No! No, you did. I know. <laughs> exactly. Oh, my God. It's <coughs> kind of a... Oh! In it? <laughs> Right, tomorrow night from 10 o'clock here on Channel 4 and you get plenty more Big Brother. 10 past 11 tomorrow night, award-winning and deservedly so. Big hit The Inbetweener starts on Channel 4. Tonight, the domestic drama of a wife swap.